Good evening everyone, myself Pratyush and myself Kumar Abhishek, final year medical student of 2018 batch and today it's our honour to have Dr. Poonam Magarwal now with us who is the Professor and Head of Department of Biochemistry, the Medical Education Coordinator and the Chair of the Institute Research Review Committee. She, is, uh, she has been our teacher and we have known ma'am for more than 5 years. She has been our mentor in Biochemistry and Medical Education projects as well. And today it's my honour to congratulate her for her 6th book she has written many uh, textbooks in biochemistry, the practical biochemistry, clinical case discussion, review of biochemistry and concepts of biochemistry. And this is her sixth book, which is the textbook of biochemistry with clinical approach and case studies for MBBA students. So congratulations, ma'am. Thank you so much, Patrush. Thank you so much, Abhishek. So thank you, ma'am. I would like to ask you, what was your journey and what was your thought process behind writing this book, ma'am? Yeah, it's a very important question and uh, see there are many textbooks which are already there for medical students but uh, since the launch of new curriculum by NMC, I really thought it's required that all the aspects of NMC guideline is to be covered in a single textbook. Uh, as you know, basically nowadays emphasis is on clinical approach to various subjects, especially pre and paraclinical. So I realized that there is some lacuna in the current textbooks which are there in the market. So I decided to write a book which will give a greater insight into the subject of biochemistry for a medical student. So that is how it has been. Thank you ma'am. Now how like you know what approach you have taken off by designing the content of the book. As I see it's full of images, flowcharts and very easy to learn diagrams as well. So what come approach you have taken yeah, to the you see, uh, like, um, I have covered all the competency based uh, uh, topics uh, and uh, if you just see a chapter like for example if I take a sub topic of fatty acid uh, metabolism where we talk about fatty acid beta oxidation and various other oxidations I have described how that process goes on with the help of diagrams and immediately I have gone to the clinical correlation of it. Like this is the carnitine shuttle which is being discussed. And um, I'm very sure you must be finding very difficult when you were studying biochemistry because you didn't have any clinical approach to the topic. So after describing the carnitine shuttle and its entry, at least it entry into the mitochondrial matrix, I started talking about the clinical correlation where the deficiency of carnitine will result in hypoglycemia in children. So, and that is after that, I have described an exact case scenario, how the baby will be presenting. And I have given certain relevant questions and those questions I have explained also as well. Then I have gone to the next aspect of the fatty acid oxidation. Like you can see the flow charts which are describing the molecular basis behind it and the various enzymes are uh, you know described in a sequential manner. And this is how I have approached. Wherever clinical connection is there, I have taken full liberty to describe those cases because ultimately students are going to see the cases in the clinics and they need to understand the biochemistry behind it. Yes, right. So ma'am, how much importance does this book hold for a first year medical student who have just joined the medical college now? It's actually, I must say that I have taken a lot of pain to write this book and the only reason why I thought of writing this book is that a student should get, medical student should get the correct approach to the subject. For first year students going to be beneficial because their basics will be clear, their relevant material will be taught to them. When they are reading any other book like you know, they just don't know what to read and what not to read. So this book uh, you can see, uh, if you can appreciate, this is a very compact book which is very student friendly. And uh, why it is so compact and student friendly because I have not covered extra topics which is not required for MBA subjects. So this is how it is. I totally agree ma'am. I see that it's only 700 pages and it's yes. a very compact book and student friendly yes. for a medical student. We can also see that ma'am in this as uh, multiple diagrams and flowcharts yes. are yes. So we can just have an overview of any simple topic yeah. from you ma'am. So that like you for example you see this is a fat soluble vitamin where we have vitamin A, D, E and K. So I have started talking about a particular vitamin like vitamin D. I have described how it is synthesized in the body, how it is activated with the help of simple flowchart. You can see this is a very simple flowchart which a student can recreate in the exam. If I give some sort of uh, complex diagram, a student will be understanding but will not be able to recall and recreate it in the exam. So uh, my whole effort is to explain it in a very simplified fashion 
See, after describing the various aspects of vitamin D, I've gone to the case of rickets, I've gone to the case of osteomalacia, which has been uh, explained in a very student-friendly manner. Similarly, if you see this is vitamin A, then vitamin D, their clinical correlation, why the vitamin the spot, how does it look like, everything is compiled together. And toxicity of vitamin E, how it will be reflecting. So this is how it is. Mm -hmm. Since the new, in the new CBME curriculum, question, there, there is more focus also on the MCQ, MCQ multiple choice questions in biochemistry, even in the professional examinations. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Had it been taken care of now in yes. this book? See, at the end of each section, like this is carbohydrate metabolism, at the end of each section, I have given the long answer question, short answer question, very short answer questions, which will give an insight to the students uh, what types of questions can be asked in the university exam. And then I have given major emphasis on the MCQs as well. And not only MCQs, I am given the multiple choice question, but each question is then later on explained in good detail. You can see this; these are the explanations of... Uh, uh, we can see this here, like these are the explanations of each and every question. Uh, each option is explained in good detail. So that will give greater insight and retention to the students when they attempt. And at the end, I have got uh, crucial MCQs, which are totally 175 in number. And these MCQs are golden MCQs. And for each MCQs, later on, the explanation is given. So this is how it is. I'm really uh, interested in that uh, even explanations have been included in this yes. book because I feel like when I was attending MCQs, when I was in first year back then, I used to reach out to my teachers for uh, explanations or Google exactly. it. Yes, honest. exactly. Because when you read MCQs without explanation, what happens? You tend to mug up it. You yes. just try to, just uh, you think it is a one line of thing and you just try to mug it up. So it's never like that. Whenever MCQs is framed, all these factors are very important. It is important to know what is the answer, but more important is to know why other distractors are not the option. So for that, the great explanation of the depth, in-depth explanation of MCQ is very important. So that is why I'm taking it. And, uh, exactly. Well, I remember that when I was studying metabolism in my first student, everything used to get mixed up. Mixed up. Flavor, true, 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 true. And why my teacher used to ask these questions. See, yeah. On fatty metabolism, they used to jump to carbohydrate. Yeah, so that reminds me, in this book, one important and the unique point is that various metabolisms are integrated very well. Right. And on that same spot, it is given that for further aspect of this, this particular page number you have to refer. My focus is to integrate the metabolism. Because we have divided it into a carbohydrate metabolism, lipid metabolism, or uh, any other nucleotide metabolism. In the body, it's not been divided, right? It's all integrated. So my approach towards this subject is to integrate it. This is a really, really unique approach in this era of integration now. I exactly agree with it now. And I also saw ma'am that there was some lab instrumentation yes. and something related to practical exams. Ma'am, yes. what approach has been taken by you know, including those See, labs? Yeah. Now these latest guidelines are there for various biomedical based to, uh, you know, aspects and various lab instrumentations. So I have, you know, uh, covered it and they are asked even in the competencies. So various lab instruments which are important for undergrads to understand that I have covered. And in addition, I have given a major emphasis on the biomedical waste management. Nowadays, you see the latest guidelines. Yes. They are, uh, you know, giving a lot of importance to BMW, biomedical waste. So I have left uh, no stone unturned, like I've covered the latest guideline. And this is very rare to find because they generally go with the old uh, guidelines. So this is how it is and uh, these MCQs also if you see they are clinical MCQs nowadays you must have heard about next yes, yes, right? yeah. so that in next they will be asking you the clinical questions they will give you the clinical scenarios and then you will not even know it's a medicine question or pediatric question or biochemistry question mm -hmm. so uh, that sort of questions also have included Amazing, ma'am. I think that even in our theory exam, we used to get questions from lab instrumentation, and you used to be like, This is practical. Yes, yes, practical. why they're asking here. Okay. It's not like that. Even in the theory aspect, you need to know about instrumentation and the interviews. Yes, and this book will uh, surely serve as a boon to all the students who will be appearing for next examination. Yes, as they get they will prepare their base. base, base uh, uh, and exactly the same book they can refer in the final year when they're appearing for the next mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. and it will be very helpful for them. Then you don't need to read a sort of totally new book for the next. Yeah. And 
really ma'am, I am really impressed with the book, the content which has been prepared and I Thank think you it will revolutionize the biochemistry that is important. I think this is so my, uh, you know, yeah. expectation from this book and uh, thank you so much. Yes, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.